Hello everybody, welcome to what used to be my sitting room and I've now taken over as part of my workshop in sunny Herefordshire on the Welsh borders in the UK and it's going to be a very hot and sunny day so that's good. Now today I am going to be talking about crin, crinoline or used to be called horsehair and I'm going to talk about it and tell you what I know. Now originally it was called horsehair because that's what it was made of. It was made from the hair from horses' manes and tails and it was woven into a braid. Um, nowadays that isn't available. And modern crin is this stuff, which is actually made from nylon. It's made from nylon filament. Now, old-fashioned horsehair was great because you could, because it was a natural product, you could do a lot with it. You could mould it, etc. But with the modern nylon filament, you are a bit restricted in that. It doesn't glue together well. You can't use super glue on it. It doesn't work. It doesn't um, form anything with heat unless it's absolutely red hot. But then it tends to melt. It doesn't meld together. You can't mold two bits together like you can with polyester because it will just burn. So you have to be aware of its limitations when you're using it. So really your only recourse is a lot of stitching it together, which can be a bit fiddly. Um, now it comes in all widths and colours and some of it is bra already braided. It has sort of machine type embroidery down it or across it like this. And nearly, well, all cinema comes with a, a thread along the edge, which is where it's manufactured. Now you can get rid of that thread because it doesn't look very nice. It's not very attractive. So you can um, pull it out. So, you know, use your fingers and a pair of scissors and, and pull it and it will come away from, from the edge. Um, now, I'm just going to show some techniques with it and talk about making hats from it. Now, because it's not very pliable, when they made hats originally from horse hair, they would have a wire frame. And I'm going to show an image now of the type of wire frame. This would be used for not only horse hair, but it would be used for lightweight fabrics, chiffons, etc. So you either had um, a frame that you made from wire or you wired the brim to give it some stability because obviously it's very floppy. It won't take stiffener because it's not absorbent. So the stiffener will just fall through the cracks and won't do anything to the nylon filament. Um, it'll work a little bit on the thread with, with this type where it's been um, sort of woven in with thread, but it won't keep its shape. So you can't use shellac on it or PVA or anything like that. It just doesn't, doesn't work. Steam doesn't do anything either. So what you've got to think about is do you want to make a whole hat from it? Or do you just want to use it as trimming and as an underbrim? For example, if you're doing um, a hat and you want an underbrim, I've just pulled this out of the workshop just to um, show. You could attach it and it would make a nice extra brim. So in fact, you've got a double, a double brim around the edge. So it works quite well for something like that. But again, you've got to be careful. If you make it too wide, obviously the brim will just flop because it hasn't got any stiffening. Now, if you want to make the brim stiff, you either make a wire frame, you either thread wire through it, through the edge, or brim reed. Brim reed's quite good because again, I often say about rim read, it doesn't show up on clear, clear fabrics. So for example, you could thread this through your, the edge of your cinema, 
or stitch it round if you want and use that as your brim and of course that will that will stiffen it so that's that's another way of um, making um, making it stiffer to use in other um, things now the, ni the nice thing about it is you can manipulate it I, I started here with some here you can pull it and stretch it and make holes in it and give it a just totally different look so if you wrench holes and move the fibers about you can get some really nice effects and you can put those together in a trim or to make a fascinator or whatever so you can manipulate it in that respect and actually it makes it slightly stiffer because what you're doing is you're pushing some of the fibers together and making that a stiffer edge so that's one trick with it what i've done here on this hat is oh <laughs> mind the tissue the tissue paper is in it because the net gets squashed when it's packed away so what i tend to do is if it is squashed you can steam it but what i tend to do is poke tissue paper in just to keep it holding its shape in case it ends up in a box and getting slightly squished so this has had uh crinoline and net added as decoration and you'll see around the edge i've put crinoline tubing it's got crinoline as a band around the middle which i've stretched and then i've got wired crinoline here now unfortunately i haven't got any wide tubing to show you but it comes in uh, woven tubes like this this is a fairly narrow one but i wanted it even narrower now the way to do that is to literally just stretch it out if you stretch it out with your fingernails it makes it much thinner and curlier but also i wanted it to really keep curly whirly shapes i didn't want them to bend so what i did was i got some wire now wrap the end of the wire with a lot of sellotape so that when you're poking it down your crinoline tube it's not poking through because what will happen is if you just poke it it will just come through at points and then you'll get into a mess but you can poke narrow wire down the tubing and then bend it and mold it to whatever shape you want so that comes in quite useful so to summarize it's nylon you can't uh, glue it you can't meld it together it's really only you're only able to stitch it you can make some fantastic um, shapes with it because it obviously will curl so you can curl it round and form um, let's take the elastic band off here or whatever it is that I've got on there you can curl it round causing really nice shapes and make a fascinator like that or add that to a hat i just used it folded over in a wavy effect for this one and um, you can use it as a brim so i'm putting up an image of a vintage hat and you'll see where they've used wire in the brim as i say this is ideal for um any sort of thing you want to do you need to wire it if you're the other thing to do is make a base for the hat so you could use say paris net or something like that make your brim or your crown and then stitch your cinema uh, your crinoline to it rather so it's just a little short video just talking about crin and i hope it's been helpful to you Thanks a lot. See you soon.